So the first thing we need to create our candy cane brush is to enable the grid. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and select snap to grid. And just so we are able to see what we are doing, we will zoom into the canvas a little bit. Then select a pen tool, go to one of these crosshairs right here, create an anchor point and create a shape like this. After creating this shape, pick the selection tool, hold down the ALT key to duplicate this shape and drag the copy on top of the original shape. Repeat this step by clicking CTRL D. Now select this top shape, hold down the SHIFT key and select the bottom shape as well. We are going to color these shapes. You can choose complete white if you want, but I am going for a slight cream color. Then select the middle shape and give this one a red color. Then deselect the shapes and see if you like the color scheme. If you do, we want to turn these colors into global swatches, so it's easier to adjust these colors later if we want to. So select one of the objects with the cream color, go to the swatches panel, click on new swatch and check this box right here that says global. Then simply click OK. Do the same thing for the red color. So now we have the global swatches right here. And I will show you an example of why it makes sense to make these global swatches in the end of the video. For now, just leave the swatches right here. After creating the global swatches, select all these three shapes, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and drag a copy to the side. Now pick the rectangle tool and create a rectangle that goes from this exact spot and all the way down to this exact spot. Then pick the selection tool, select all these objects Go to the Pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Then click this button right here that says Crop. Apart from cropping the shape, it should remove the strokes as well. But if it didn't, select the strokes right here and disable it right here. When this shape is cropped, select the Ellipse tool, hold down the Shift key and create a circle that fills out one of these squares right here. Pick the Pen tool, click at this anchor point right here. To remove it, then pick the direct selection tool, select these handles right here and drag them towards the anchor points. This will create a half circle like this. Now pick the selection tool and move this half circle and place it on top of this shape right here. And it has to be placed in this exact spot. Now select all the shapes, go to the Pathfinder panel again and select Crop again. And once again, apart from cropping, this should remove the strokes as well. So now we have created the parts we need for our candy cane brush, but we still need to set up the actual brush. To do this, we first need all our parts to be in a horizontal position. So this is going to be the bottom of our candy cane. So select the bottom, hold down the shift key to rotate in 45 degrees increments and rotate this shape 90 degrees facing to the right. Do the same thing for the middle of the candy cane. Select it, rotate it 90 degrees to the right and now we need a top of the candy cane and for the top we simply select the bottom hold down the ALT key to duplicate and drag a duplication over here. Rotate this one 180 degrees so it becomes a top. As you can see all these parts matches together. Now start with the bottom of the candy cane and drag this part onto the swatches panel. Then select the middle part drag this one onto the swatches panel and do the same thing for the top. So now every part of the brush is a swatch. This means we can now set up our brush. So go to the brushes panel, click create new brush, select pattern brush and click OK. For this video I'm just going to move this pop up so we can see what we're doing. So the first swatch we made was this bottom right here, which means the bottom has the lowest number right here. The middle part has the middle number and the top part has the highest number. If I were a little bit more thoughtful, I would have named these swatches to make it easier for myself. But since I know the order I created the swatches, I know which swatch is which. So this square right here is the bottom or the beginning of the candy cane. So select this square and select the beginning of the candy cane, which is swatch 1 in this case. This one is the end or the top of the candy cane. So select this rectangle right here and select the highest number. And finally, this part right here is the middle part of the candy cane. For this, select the middle number. For this exact brush, we don't need the corner parts, so simply skip these two. When you're done, simply click OK. 
So now that we have our brush created, let's reveal why it made sense to create the global swatches earlier in this video. So first let's delete these objects right here. We don't need them anymore after creating the brush. Then simply click the brush tool, pick the brush over here, and now we can paint any shape that we want. And because this is a stroke with a brush applied to it, we can't just select any color right here and change the colors as we want. But because we made these global swatches, if we want another red color, we can simply go to swatches, double click on the red color we used and change the color right here. And this will easily change the color of our candy cane. And if you're still here, just a final tip as a reward for you staying, you can use this brush on soft shapes as well, such as an ellipse. If you simply draw an ellipse, select the stroke, go to the brushes panel and select the candy cane brush. And here you can create some cool kind of shapes.